Well, <laughs> hello, uh, radio fans. Uh, Peter here on the radio bench. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, here's my here's my radio bench here, or parts of it anyway. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about using a variac uh, to fire. Sorry about the jiggling to fire up a radio. There's my variac. It's a uh, five amp variac. And uh, works works very well. So I use it in conjunction with a clamp meter. So now this happens to be, you know, one of those cheapy clamp meters. I think I've had that clamp meter for some I don't know, 20 years or something. So now notice this. What's that thing? So I see it's it's plugged in there. And what I've done is I took, I made 10 loops with one of the conductors, probably the hot conductor, and such that the clamp meter reads 10 times, but there goes the furnace, what the, uh, uh, what the, uh, the actual reading is. The reason why is because, uh, like, let's put, the, go ahead and put this, and put this on, so it's it's in the 200 amp range. Well, we're reading something that's that's drawing milliamps, so or or uh, certainly uh, uh, far you know, much less than an amp. So so by doing that, we can actually read milliamps now with the uh, with this meter. So as a matter of fact, we have a radio on the bench. This is a 1940 Emerson E3 EC301 that I just repaired for a friend. So, uh, so it's currently hooked up. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fire up the uh, uh, the uh, variac. So now voltage here, and we see as you can see things start to light up. And then there's there's our reading here. It says uh, 1.6 amps. So of course, it actually is divide that by 10. It's actually actually is 0.16 amps. So, so we're reading, it's going to settle in at about, about 0.23 amps, something like that. Let's go ahead and turn this down. So it's drawing about 0.23 amps. So, so, uh, so that should give you a little bit of an idea of, uh, this is a very useful thing to do. Works really well. I think I paid like thirteen dollars twenty years ago for this little clamp meter, and and uh, so I use that for uh, whenever I fire up a radio or really anything uh, that's you know relatively low current device. Uh, uh, and if there's any question about it, I'll put it on the uh, I'll put it on the clamp meter and watch things on the clamp meter, I should say, and watch things as we're as we're turning it on to make sure that. That we're uh, that we're that everything is working right. That we haven't got any shorts, or or or, or if it's drawing the currents of what you of what we would be expecting. So this one here, uh, they said was I think they listed as being uh, somewhere around a, a 400 um, milliwatt radio or something like that. So uh, so anyway, so but, but so it's within the range. So, this radio here was interesting. It had a defective, it had a, it had a break in the uh, speaker coil, in this dynamic speaker. So, uh, that was interesting because I had to cut into the speaker to do the repairs on it. So, you just can't go out and uh, at least easily buy and replace a dynamic speaker. So, it all came out well, so I had to repair the speaker. Now, uh, no membership now, restrictions. Now it does a good job now. So uh, anyway, that's the story on that for uh, for folks that like to uh, and radio men that want to test uh, that want to test uh, uh, radios and so forth and and using a variac with it and that sort of thing. So uh, I've been at this now for some 40 years. So so glad to help anybody in that in that regard.